Hey everybody, it's Alyssa. So normally when I post a piercing video, it's me doing my piercing and me succeeding in doing my piercing. But this video is a little bit different. So I always said to you guys that I would never ever pierce my rook at home and I was staying true to that statement. And then randomly I just decided that I was gonna go ahead and pierce it. I did a bunch of research. I literally researched everything for a week or two and then I just decided to go ahead and pierce my rook. As you can see by the title is I did try to pierce it, which you guys will see. I'll put the footage in here. I did try to pierce it, but I failed miserably and I'm definitely just gonna go ahead and go to a professional to get it done because I just failed bad. Um, I did it earlier, so this is what my ear looks like right now. There's like like a blood spot. I don't know if you can see it from when I like put the needle in and took it out. That's about it. It doesn't really hurt that much anymore. And it really didn't hurt when I pierced it either. I didn't really feel it, but that could be because I didn't pierce enough of my rook. That was my problem. I pierced it, but I didn't pierce enough. I just pierced a little bit of my rook. I didn't go all the way down like you're supposed to, if that makes any sense. Hopefully you guys will be able to see. I haven't even looked at the footage to see if you can see me pierce it, but I was actually really, really upset. Like I started crying and everything because I really love this piercing and I thought I was going to be able to do it at home, but it is such a hard piercing to do by yourself, especially for me because mine is very hidden behind this little flap right here. So I couldn't see what I was doing when I was piercing it. It was really hard for me to see anything that I was doing. So when I was holding the little tube under my ear, I could see perfectly fine. But once I put my hand to pierce it, the shade of my hand made it impossible for me to see where to put the needle through. So that's why I didn't put the needle in the right place and it didn't go down enough and go through the rook. It kind of just went like in a, in a weird angle where it didn't pierce anything really. It just kind of pierced a little piece of cartilage. I wanted to go ahead and say before I show you the footage that this piercing I definitely recommend going to a professional unless you have a very very noticeable rook that's in a really good place for you to pierce it I just don't recommend doing it at home I sat in my room for a good hour contemplating if I even wanted to do it and this was honestly the only piercing that I was really really nervous about doing myself which should have been an indicator for me not to even do it so for the people who normally come on my piercing videos just to leave hate I bet you guys are very happy no I failed miserably at doing my piercing so you guys can leave so many hate comments since so that's the only thing that the haters like to do on my channel is just comment about how bad at piercings I am. I do agree that you should go to a professional for sure for any piercing, but especially for the rook or the conch or the daith or any of those types of piercings, just, just go to a professional. Don't be like me. So enough with my talking. Here's the small footage of me failing miserably at doing my rook piercing. So yeah, as you guys could see, I don't know if the footage shows me like getting really upset, but I did attempt to put the jewelry in after the needle and I couldn't even get the jewelry in the top of the needle to pull it through. Like I just couldn't see anything that I was doing at all. Like my hands were in the way, I couldn't see my ear. It was horrible and I was getting so upset with myself. I started crying because I couldn't get the jewelry through the needle just to even see what it would look like with the jewelry. So I just took the needle out and I cleaned it a lot. I put some hydrogen peroxide on it. I used some of my sea salt spray and all of that to clean it and I took a shower as well so I'm just gonna keep cleaning it until it's healed it is a wound so if you do decide to do a piercing and you fail like I did just make sure to keep it clean so it doesn't get infected and if you don't fail then still keep it clean so it doesn't get infected I know for a fact I used the right materials I just didn't do it right that's what frustrates me the most is that I had everything right it's just I didn't pierce it correctly. I had my q-tips, I had the H2 Ocean Spray, I had my 15 gauge needles, and my 16 gauge jewelry, 
and if you guys want to know what jewelry I have it's the 16 gauge 5 16 jewelry which seem like it would fit my rook pretty well but like I said I'm gonna go ahead and go to professional to get done after this heals and then I'll do a video on it after I get it done it didn't hurt at all actually right now the only pain I feel is kind of just a bruise which I feel like is pretty normal because you know I had a needle go through my ear but other than that I didn't really feel it it could have been my adrenaline but I didn't feel it at all it hurt less than my belly button piercing did <laughs> but it also it could have been because I didn't pierce it enough so there's so many things that went wrong and luckily I'm fine yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I'm posting this on a Thursday I always post videos on Friday but I am posting another video tomorrow so there will be three videos up this week instead of two like normal so I hope you guys enjoyed my failed piercing video and I will see you guys tomorrow bye